video tutorial, we will explore map types in TypeScript. Map types are a great way of transforming existing types into new types, therefore the term map. Map types are compelling and allow us to create custom utility types. Throughout this tutorial, we will explore the power of map types by creating type utils that will transform existing types into new types. Let's start with a character type that defines two methods, play in fantasy movie and play in action movie. So imagine we want to create a new type called character features. This new type will inform us if a character plays in a fantasy movie or in an action movie. So instead of defining the plain fantasy movie and the plain action movie properties as functions, we want them to be booleans. So we created ourselves a new character feature, which is great. But there are a couple of downsides with this approach. Imagine that one day we change the type character instead of playing action movie we say we play an action thriller movie. So the current issue is, whenever we rename something on the character type, the character type and the character feature type are out of sync. So every time we rename something here in the character type, we also have to adjust it down in the character features type. At this point you may ask if there's a better way to keep those two types in sync. Yes there is, and as you might guess, the answer is map types. So let's leverage the power of map types to transform the character type into a new character features type. So let's get rid of this and create ourselves a two flags helper type. Each map accepts a base type, which is the type that we want to transform. In our case, it's the character. So let's implement our two flags helper type. So map types usually uses a union of the base types property keys, frequently created via a key off to iterate through the keys to create a new type. This may sound pretty complicated, but actually it isn't. So we are going to use property in key of type, which is our base type, to iterate through all the properties of our base type. If the key of keyword is new to you, I recommend you to check out my other video where I explain the key of operator in detail. You will find the link below in the description. This basically says iterate through all the properties of the character type and use reuse them here and instead of returning a function we will return a boolean. To see if our map type worked we can hover over the character features and the IDE will preview our type. The character features type is now a type that has two properties, play in fantasy movie, play in action thriller movie and both return a boolean. The beautiful thing now is as soon as we rename a property on our base type, for example play in action thriller movie, we rename it to play in action movie the character features type automatically gets adjusted. So our base type is always in sync with our new map type. Pretty cool, but it even gets more powerful. Map types have a powerful feature that allows us to use a plus and a minus sign to add or remove modifiers. Imagine we have again a character type. This time our character type defines two properties, a read-only first name and a read-only name. The read-only keyword means that it's only a read-only type, so we can only read the first name and the name property. So let's imagine we have a use case where we also want to set those properties. So we would create a map type that allows us to alter the first name and the name of a character. To clone the type, we would simply type property in key of type is of type property. So that would create us the exact same interface. But we want to get rid of the read-only modifier. To get rid of this modifier, we can simply type minus read-only. And as we can see, this would remove the read-only modifier. As I said, the minus allows us to remove a modifier and there's also a plus to add a modifier. So we can create this example even one step further and instead of only removing the read-only modifier, imagine we also want to make those properties optional. To make properties optional in TypeScript, we have to add a question mark in front of the double point. So to add a question mark, we type plus followed by the question mark. So let's explore our resulting interface. So we transformed our base character interface, which was read-only first name, read-only name, to a new interface that has a optional first name and an optional last name, and none of those properties are read-only. So you may think this is pretty powerful and pretty awesome, but bear with me, it gets even better. So let's again start with our base character type, defines a first name and the name both of type string. 
So wouldn't it be cool if we could transform our character interface into a new interface that instead of just defining the properties, defines getter functions. Again, we would start off by looping through all the properties in our base type and then returning a function that returns a string. So currently our map type would look like this. We have a character type that defines two functions, first name and name, and both return a string. So this is not enough yet. Because with getters, our function has to start with the get keyword. We need to somehow transform our property. So we can do that by using TypeScript's template literal type. So what we can do is we can use s and then two backticks as we know it from JavaScript. And then we say our function should start with get. And then we need to capitalize the property name. At this point, we successfully mapped our base character interface into a new character type that defines two getters. So map types are pretty powerful. They allow you to implement custom transformation of types. So you can take existing types and transform them into new types. You can use powerful tool to map base types to new types. You can use the plus to add modifiers, you can use the minus to remove modifiers, and you can use all kinds of TypeScript utility types to transform your base type to the new type. Map types are especially useful because they allow you to keep multiple types in sync. Keeping those types in sync eases refactoring and makes your code more maintainable. If you like this tutorial, make sure to subscribe on my YouTube channel and to follow me on Twitter. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh,